So hello and welcome to the first episode of Baby Dribble, which is brought to you live from Sweet Dreamers HQ by the Sweet Dreamers team. And Baby Dribble is a fun, friendly and free parenting advice channel for new and expecting parents and caregivers. We aim to offer knowledge, support and insight into the wonderful world of parenthood with in... <laughs> I turned into old. Oh, um, old um, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Yes. <laughs> it's a mighty. Right, I'm going to start again. Okay. okay. So, blah, 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 blah. I <laughs> Right, here we go. Just here we watching go. watching you introduce. Yeah. <laughs> I did quite well until did right well. at the end. That's all right. Mm. Take two. Take two. Okay. Hello and welcome to the hood with industry expert guests and medical professionals. So I'm Linda, mum of six, and today I'll be joined by Lucy, new mum to Mason. Hello, Lucy. Hello. So this week we'll be talking about the joys of baby teething. We hope to offer some informative, entertaining and practical advice on navigating this potentially difficult period as a new parent. Right, so let's get started um, with the signs of teething. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to spot. So um, Lucy, how did you find teething with mason has he yes i feel like we're not out of the woods yet yes we're still carrying on through it we've got four teeth left to go so i didn't know much about teething before i had a baby Mm -hmm. so it was all a bit of a shock um he was delightful up until the (laughs) the first tooth started to cut through yes Um, and that's a a word that i've learned is that teeth cut through which made me think that it might be a bit painful Mm. Bit of a giveaway, giveaway. It was a bit of a giveaway. Yes, yes. So, so how old is Mason now? Um, he is. He'll be two next month. Right. Yes. So, so um, the first tooth, his first tooth, came when he was ten months. So we had a good, good ten stint. months of, of, of not yes. too much going on. Yeah. And then, um, then the first tooth hit, and you know, yeah, he knew about I it. I knew about it. But but it's quite true to say that before the first tooth actually cuts. Mm-hmm. They, the babies can display all the grizzling, they drooling, can. sometimes months beforehand, before the tooth actually emerges. Everyone was telling yeah. me that he was teething from four months. So I was expecting a tooth <laughs> from four what months. Were you ex- <laughs> inspecting. Let <laughs> me look was, in, let we me look at your gums. Every night looking at the gums. Why are you <laughs> awake? What's happening? And it didn't yes. come for a while. But I do know other children where their teeth came very early. Yes. So yes. It, it's every baby's different haven't you got a factoid about some babies i do yes well Mm. when we were looking um up all of this it some babies are actually born with teeth gosh i mean it would be a shock yes but i mean at least they've got some with the old breastfeeding yes straight off exactly Um, yes and i was looking into that as well it's Mm. quite um you can still breastfeed very easily yes um it's just changing positions yes baby yeah um but yes some people are some babies are born with teeth yes Um, yeah that came as a shock to me but yeah if they're born with teeth at least you don't have to deal with some of the no you've had it all in had it all in your tummy (laughs) going on pre-birth exactly so yeah yeah (laughs) so um did mason dribble truckloads or was he quite because some babies get away get away with it don't they they're not i didn't think he was too bad it was when he stopped sleeping Yes. As much as, as yeah, disturbed, did, that, disturbed that sleep. people started saying that he was teasing. Um, oh. And also, he would get very, very flushed cheeks. Yes. And people would say that he was teasing yeah. then. Um, so I was always looking out for that. It's always one side one, as well. One flushed cheek, and one then the other one is, is totally yes. normal. So that was what made yes. everybody think that he was yes. teasing. Yeah. Um, so obviously, I did a lot of research on my phone at night, trying to mm. see if he was teasing. Um, and there's there's lots of mm. myths and hearsays and old wives tales um, to say if they're teething or not. Um, so it was just trying to work out what was true and what yeah. was false. Really. And what about his appetite? Did he sort of? Because I remember with mine, one minute they would love a particular type of food, onset of teething. No, nope, yeah, don't want to eat it. And then you have a bit of a minor breakdown, thinking my child now isn't eating. Yeah which then sort of compounds into they're not going to sleep at night because they haven't yeah. had enough food. So I what actually about, went to the doctors yeah. about that because he did stop. Um, mm. I can't remember at the time whether he must have been 
weaning at that time. Yes. But um, I went to the doctors and said he's he's not feeding yeah. as much, but they said that he has plenty of reserves, so he's fine. <laughs> he was quite a big boy. Was he chunky? Um, yeah. So they said he's chunky. got plenty of reserves, yeah. so he's got a cut. He'll be fine. Um, and then he'll tell you when he wants food back. Yes. So you just yeah. have to keep offering. I was told to keep offering, offering. food, and hopefully. It would just come back, yes. and it did. It's yeah. just a little phase, and that's what I think I've learned from teething is that it goes in phases, and yes. then nothing's permanent. No, yes, they might be a little bit unsettled, but that soon passes, and they'll be back mm. to their old selves. But then they soon become unsettled again. Yes, and <laughs> so just you when you think going. you've cracked it, you yes. think that's great. They no, change. no, it's all over again, and right. they get quite grisly, don't they, and clingy. Bless them. Yeah, just need lots of attention exactly. during that time. Lots of. And lots of fine. cuddles. When else? Are you yes, lots of cuddles? I know, because then that phase will pass. Exactly. Like mine, mine are all grown oh, up that's now. Right. But I now I'm able to cuddle the grandchildren. Well, exactly. I've got one got grand. Yes, one little Sylvester, and then another one on the way. So. Uh, oh, so you'll be an expert. In this I, I will. <laughs> I'll be. I'll be <laughs> like <laughs> grandma, expert grandma. Perfect. So. Um, <laughs> So what about some home remedies? Did you try any sort of... I did. So I had a quick look. Yeah. I was a little bit reserved in wanting to give cowpole straight away. Yes. Uh, so I did try a couple a of things. A lot of parents are. A lot of mums yes. are. It's like, oh no, we'll have that. We'll wait for when last we really resort. need it. Exactly. Mm. So there's a couple of things you can do that don't require mm. any spending, which was, is to essentially put pressure on the gum with your finger. Yes. Um, and that's fine until they get more teeth. <laughs> and it's fine when they're very young and, and they've just got And gums. you want to keep your all exactly. of your fingers. That's yes. Right. Um, but yeah, until until they get more teeth, you can put your finger in and you just lightly press on it essentially. And yes, to help relieve the exactly. pressure. Um, or you can um, wet a, a flannel. Yes, like yeah. Off, um, and then you can put that so they can bite down on yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and obviously that doesn't cost any money, so no. it's worth a try. And I did notice so a lot of people were saying to put the the cloth in the freezer but they advise against that now to no. put the cloth in the fridge so yes. just so it's a little bit cold. just a little bit cooler yes. because so. they do want to attack everything don't they gum exactly. everything in the yeah. mouth yeah. hands fingers your fingers yeah. anything anything they can get, their hands, their, on, get their hands on um, so we did that and we also um bought some teething toys yes um so again some that you can put in the fridge to make them mm. cold um, there's some with all different types of um, like contours on yes, them, so that it can to get help to relieve the, the, the pressure. And, yes, yeah. yeah. Um, so we did all of that. Yes. Before I bought some granules. <laughs> <laughs> and, then... and it was like, okay, let's go to the backup yeah. reserves. Yeah. Because I remember the Ashton Pars, Pars, is it Parsons they, Teething Pouches. Yeah. Do they still sell they those? They still sell that, and that is what everyone yeah. told me to go and buy. So yeah. I went and bought it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Was, um, teething powders. Like in the little paper. Psh, just get, pour it in. in yes. Is, it is a bit of a tricky not manoeuvre. Yes. Try, so yeah. I ended up putting it on a little spoon. Yes. And then spooning it spooning in. Spooning it in. Yes, because trying to. Pour it in, it in. yeah. It's just ideal. a bit, a bit of a tricky procedure. Exactly. So what we actually did, mm. um, didn't we, Lucy? Is yeah. we conducted a mini myth-busting teething poll um, on our Instagram page, mm -hmm. our at you and the Dream Sheep Instagram page, um, which was quite fun, really. It was. Fun. We had a lot of people, didn't we? we did. It took part. Yeah, we're more than yes. we thought. So yes. Very, thank you so so much. yes, thank you to everyone, everyone, that, everyone that joined in. <laughs> And took part in the poll. So our first myth was um, teething causes fevers. True or false? True or false. True or false. So the poll revealed that 72% of you thought that teething did, did cause yeah. fever. And 28% of you thought that was false. Um, it is actually false. Um, but I'll explain Ooh, why. Because lots of people do think, yeah, oh, they've yes. got a fever, they've got a fever. Yeah. It's all signs of, of the teething process. That's right, and I did actually yeah. do that as well. Yeah, actually so I did, I'm glad to be fair. Into it. Yes, yeah. Um, so it turns out that, yes, babies can have a raised temperature when yes. they're teething, um, but not necessarily a fever. Yeah. Um, a fever... Fever. Oh, fever, fever, fever. A <laughs> fever. Uh, fever is a temperature yeah. of 38 and higher. Um, right. So... I mean, a lot of people do buy 
thermometer. Yes. So if you they've got the forehead turned, thermometer, exactly. the one that you can put on the arm, yeah. the armpit. Um, so you can yeah. check that mm. um, if you want to. Uh, but yes, they do have a slightly mm. ra a raised temperature, um, and that can be due to the gums being sore. Yes. And yeah. They can swell a bit. Yeah. Which you can imagine. Yes. Yeah. A um, but it, they also say to just keep an eye mm. on that temperature because it might actually be that your baby is sick or yes. has an infection if they yeah. have a, temp a fever. Yes, like definitely. So it's just monitoring everything. Anything's wrong, then go to the GP. Yeah, um, definitely. Best to get it checked out. Exactly. You don't want to let because it can sort of escalate so, so quickly. quickly. I can remember with one of my sons he had quite a temperature. This wasn't anything linked to teething, actually, no. but he's, his temperature just shot through the roof, and in the end, they admitted him and put him on a drip, yeah. and he had a convulsion, febrile convulsion. Yeah. Um, so you do have to keep an, eye, yeah. keep an eye on the temperature. Obviously, you know, as a parent, you would anyway, but just monitor it. And, yeah. and like you quite rightly say, um, there's the forehead thermometers. There's all these gadgets exactly. out there. So, to keep an eye, keep an eye on the um, on the temperature. It's so interesting. So, like, like you say, it was actually false. Yeah. So we, then we went along with our second myth: Is nappy rash a sign of teething? Yes or no? Now I would have said yes prior yeah. to looking into <laughs> yeah. it. I was going to go with yes. What did they say on the poll? So on the poll, it was seventy six percent said yes and twenty four percent said no. Mm -hmm. um, so. It isn't actually something you associate yeah. with teething. That, that, which is yeah, when I looked enough. into it, yeah. It's, it's not. Yeah. Again, um, a lot of people said to me, nappy rash is a sign of teething, but it's not. Yeah. Um, it's actually more likely to be um, when babies mm. when babies start to teeth, generally yeah. they're starting to explore a bit more. Yeah. So they're, they're crawling, mm. they're putting things in their mouths, yeah. um, they're drooling a yeah. lot more, and they do drool when they teeth. Yes. So that excess of saliva is all going into yeah, the stomach, of course. Yep. and mm. the the increased stomach acid yeah. is actually what causes the nappy rash. Yes, what in the wee yes. when they wee? Exactly. Yeah. So it it is a slight link, but yes. it's not a direct link. No, to the teeth. no. So and then, like you say, if they're putting everything in their mouth, they could they, they could be um, picking up yeah. any sort of like exactly. bacteria or all that's obviously yeah. triggering um, um, nappy. Um, uh, teething, exactly. diarrhea, sort of linked thing. And I was watching something the other day, and mm. your phone is has holes, no end of bacteria. Really? And oh, what do yes. babies love? Yeah. Your phone. So yep. they've got your phone. They're putting it in their mouth. Yeah. They're putting their hands in their mouth afterwards. Yeah. Then that can. And also, when you're shaking, they they keys. People give exactly. them their keys. Yeah. Imagine all the. Yeah, they've been on the floor yeah. and in everywhere. Yeah. So, that is actually more likely to have it have it. triggered it in the first yes. place. So that was another one. Yes. Yeah, but okay. obviously frequently changing your baby's nappy during yes. uh, the teething phase. Yeah. And even if they haven't done a even if they haven't done a poo, just yeah. change it because of this acidic urine, exactly. the wee. Lots of like you say, barrier cream. Barrier creams, um, to keep their little There's loads little, out there, but yeah. as long as it says barrier cream on the yes. thing, it will just Protect it, exactly. yeah, because also with the um, the nappy rash that's sort of during the teething phase, you can tell it, it's it's um, normal nappy rash is just like a not a mild red, but it's just pinky. Whereas with yeah. the um, teething nappy rash, yeah. it's, it's can be really red raw, can't yes. it? And the skin Very can actually sore. crack, can't yes. it? Yeah. And ooze like sort yeah. of like fluid out of it so so, so it painful yeah you don't want it to get to that so no. not saying you're going to be amazing and and sort of like the nappy police and no. sort of always <laughs> going to be able because we've all been there with our yeah. children they're going to they're going to get it you're going to get a really bad exactly. um nappy rash yeah. so don't beat yourself up if they if they yeah. do get to that stage but like you say lots of cream yeah. but then of course that's just going to make them even more irritable isn't it exactly. the old the old nappy rash yeah so um, then we went on to our third myth. Yes. When should I start brushing my little one's teeth? So that we asked aged one year or over, or when you actually first see see your teeth. Well, this was the mm. I was when Mason's first tooth appeared. I was like, oh, what do I do? Do I need to do anything? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah. Um, so 
with the poll, the results were um, one and over. Only seven percent of you said one and over. Yeah. And ninety three percent said when the teeth appear. Get and that's the old. Right. Get the toothbrush out. Yeah. Um. They they say yeah. there's lots on the market. Baby yes, toothbrushes. Exactly. You don't need to buy baby toothbrushes. No. You can have normal toothbrushes, but it's up to you. Um, and yeah, you just need to give them a little, a little, a little brush, um, morning and night. Yeah. That's just to get them used to it, really. Because yeah. they're gonna have to start doing that. Start anyway. the the routine. Um, mm. And yeah, so it's when the teeth appear. Yeah. And you just have to keep going That's with it. it. <laughs> I don't think you have to be like too uh, um, sort of obsessive about no. making sure you've definitely, as long as you've you've had a go, exactly. got some fluoride in there. And what about fluoride? They do say it's okay, don't they, to have, they've got special baby yes. toothpaste. Well, this mm. was a difficult one. Yes. When I was having a look, it mm. is really difficult. You do have baby Specific, toothpaste. yes. Um, but when I was reading up on it, yeah. some baby toothpaste doesn't contain enough fluoride. Yes. Um, but you don't want to give them too much either. It's tricky, um, isn't it? Yeah. So just have a quick look on the, the packet. It will mm. say on there how much fluoride it contains. Um, but it, it it was a little bit of a grey area, I must mm. say. Um, so just have a look and see what's on there. But yeah. they do have baby toothpaste, which tastes yes. a bit nicer. They have different flavours. Yes. So it's not always mint. And I suppose you could always ask your dentist. You could couldn't always you? ask your dentist. Because yes. they're going to know what's yeah. a really good, a really good brand. And talking exactly. about the dentists, and still talking also about how, toothpaste. Um, our fourth myth was how much toothpaste should I use? Now you, we had a blob or a smear for the pole, and I've got to say that I was going with the blob. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is actually <laughs> both answers are right. <laughs> Um, so this yeah. one was a little bit of a trick yeah. question. So twenty-two yeah. percent of you said a blob, a blob, and I was with uh, the blob. Seventy-eight said this, a smear. So it's actually both. Mm. Um, so three and under, you should put a smear of toothpaste on the toothbrush. Yep. And three and up is a blob. A blob. I mean, it's not very yeah, specific. specific. No, just use. Use sense. yes, or, 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 or yeah. the blob. So. I suppose yeah, because when they're tiny, you don't want to like overload their no. mouth with too no. much toothpaste because exactly. it's all a new taste and a new experience exactly. for them. Just getting them used yeah. to it, and um, um, but they do like to take part, don't they? I know they Sylvester, yeah. he's two, and he when he comes for a sleepover and we do um, teeth, and also they do it at the nursery as well. They yeah. have two teeth brush, you know, tooth brushing after yeah, meals. And they love getting involved. Yeah. They love doing the whole... Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, I made a bit of a song and dance about it. Yeah. And we had a little song yeah. that we sang. Yes. Um, he obviously can't sing it, so no. I sing it. And <laughs> he, he loves it. He starts very happy, smiling, open yes. his mouth. And and you just get right because they've got musical toothbrushes yes, as well, haven't they? Toothbrushes. It's they all pay for the amount of time yes, the recommended teeth. amount of time. Teeth, so there's so. lots of ways to encourage good dental yes. hygiene from an early age, Definitely. where it's fun. They get yeah. involved, yeah. look after the teeth. So um, our fifth myth, which was our, could you, I managed to say that fifth myth, fifth, fifth myth, myth um, which was our final myth. Um, when should I take my um, child to the dentist, aged yeah. one, or when teeth first appear. Okay, um, so again, when age one, 26 of you percent said that one, and when teeth appear, 74 percent yep. said that one. And it is, yes, when teeth When appear. the teeth start yeah. appearing. Um, it's up to you, probably with, within the first year, you'll mm. probably get going to see a teeth. Mm. So they say that when the teeth appear, take them to the dentist so they get used to it. That's it. And we all know how difficult it can be with some, something new and something yeah. new. And, it, and this this sort of like um, sort of myth, another myth, another myth, myth number six yeah. about visits to the dentist being uh, not a particularly nice experience. Yeah. So to introduce it at an early age Definitely. so that the, um, yeah. the child knows that yeah. they don't have to be, you know, so, go have a meltdown going to the dentist. Yeah. And most dentists yes. would be quite yeah, nice. Yeah, they're really explained. fun. And a bit yeah, baby. they just sit on your lap. Yeah, just, just they're not yeah. really going to be yeah. even inspecting their teeth very. You know, no. just a quick look, yeah, and just and to get it. just to get them into the yeah. swing of things, as you say. Because you know, just recapping from when you, we were saying earlier on, you said some babies are born with teeth. Normally, it's about six months, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it can be earlier. Three months they yeah. display this signs of teething. Yeah. So six months. Is when normal, 
normally uh, the first yeah. tooth would cut. And there's nothing yeah. wrong if they don't get it at six yeah. months. And um, I also saw something about um, yeah. it having a effect on their... I don't know if I'm going to say this. Yeah. Like cognitive <laughs> yes. development. And it yes. has no link. No. Um, so lots of people said, oh, you know, that, that can lead to mm. development issues, but that's not the no. case. It's just all babies. It's, all babies are different. Mm. And is it up to about the age of two that they... For the full teeth. For the full teeth. You should expect teeth up to three. Up to three. Yeah. And then they should have most of their teeth. Yeah. And then about five and six, they yeah. start to lose, lose their milk teeth. And the tooth fairy... Puts in an appearance. So everyone yeah. have no money. <laughs> so how many teeth are we forking out here for, exactly. for with the um, tooth fairy? So you should expect no. twenty teeth. <laughs> twenty so keep, visits keep each initially. Visit low. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you have no money. <laughs> Actually, I'll remember that for you. Yeah. Start Hang on a minute. Start budgeting <laughs> now. Yeah. I'm gonna put that away for when the first. And that's two. just for one child. So exactly. Has Gosh. <laughs> I yes. should technically be bankrupt to exactly. the amount of teeth. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so you've got um, um, 10 milk teeth on top and 10 milk teeth at the bottom. Yes. Yes, although we have more as adults. Yes, making way for... For 28. 28 teeth. and the old... F- and four. the wisdom teeth. Yeah. But not everybody gets wisdom no. teeth, so I hear. I didn't know that. No. No. And, you and they take ages. To, to, yeah. Or you could have all the teeth. Yes. So, there you go. Yeah. I, I did actually have two of my wisdom teeth out, oh, but two you? of them are still there. Oh. Whereas yeah. one of my sons had to go and have all four out in and the hospital. Mm, so, yeah. yeah. You look like a you look like a little hamster oh. <laughs> for about a week. <laughs> right. Oh, I was just having that. soup. <laughs> soup. Right. So uh so there we go. Yeah. So those myths were quite interesting. They were, yes. Really yeah, interesting. It, uh, if you did vote on that mm. and you're watching, then hopefully you've learned something. Yes, as we have as well. yes, so. definitely. Yeah. And um, thank you for everyone that took part in that because, like I say, I think everybody likes a poll, don't they? Definitely. People like to get involved yeah. Yeah. and sort of like show off what you know. Yes, and what you don't know. that's it. Yeah. So um, <laughs> hopefully, there we've sort of like dispelled a few myths um so we touched earlier on like you were saying about sort of toys that you could put in the fridge to help with um yes. teething so have you got any views on you know which products do you think help with teething I mean, there's loads on the market isn't there there's loads on the market so yeah. many more than when have, mine were younger you yeah necklaces now yes um, that um are made for amber jewelry or... necklaces or yeah. something yes yeah um, the amber Jewelry mm. is a little bit of a, a grey area. Really? Um, yeah. Lots of people swear by the amber necklaces. Yes. Um, but there is no evidence that they work. So mm. um, I always wondered how they worked. Yeah. Anyone listening? Um, the idea is that, um, so the, if you haven't seen them, they can either go around their neck or yes. as a bracelet. And when the baby's temperature, so again, when they start Mildly. to tease, which we know may not be. No. May not be a, no TV. no. Um, the the properties. In so the is amber, it actually made from amber? It is, oh okay yeah. yes the yeah. The properties in the amber yeah. is meant to soak into the skin and release a natural painkiller. Oh. And that's how it helps with the TV. Ah. Um, some people do swear yeah. by it. So if it works, yes, for them, if it, it works, does. definitely. There's no uh, medical evidence right that it, that it does work. And yes. There's also some concerns about choking. Mm. If if the band um, snaps, snaps, and also uh, strangulation, if mm. if it pulls so around the neck um, with it, is is yeah. a no, no. You must always have the child yes. there. Um, so there's there's lots of mm. pros and cons with it. So that's just something maybe for people to think about. Mm. If you're thinking about it, just have a good look and research it. Yeah, yeah. That's how the the amber necklaces work. But you can also have just normal necklaces yes. that have um, natural rubber. Mm. They all come in all shapes, and um, we know how babies like to pull mm. on anything yes. that you're wearing. And, and that's mum. Mum wears that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. So mum wears that, and yep, yeah, they can pull on it and they can bite it. And so then it. you can keep. Yeah. Exactly. So those ones Monitor are quite good. it. I yes. didn't actually have those. No, um, this is all new because when my ones were yeah. younger, yeah. it was just mainly the teething sort of rings that you could put in the fridge. Yeah. yeah um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Bicky pegs. 
the little pegs, pegs. Yes. yes. Um, the biscuits. They're not so common, but no. All, 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 mm. so they're not so common. You can yeah. buy them, but I didn't yeah. see them yes. when I yeah. when I looked for for remedies. Mm. So, um, but you can still. Yes. Buy yeah. And what? Well, obviously, there's the teething toys. And the teething toys. Yes. Lots um, of chewy sort of. So there's many out there as mm. well. Um, they come in all shapes and sizes as mm. well. So. Um, yeah. There's there's lots to be going on with those. And also, what well, you know, the teething mitts are now yeah. quite popular, aren't they? Yeah, teething mitts. So they um they go around the baby's hand. Yes. Um, so they almost can can grab onto them inside, and then they put them. So and they're already connected, so they're, they're not going to drop it on the floor right, yeah. at an early age. And, and they're, they're all quite colourful yeah. as well. So they're they're quite mm. nice. They've got different yeah. materials on them, so they're a bit of sensory. Yes. Um, as well for the baby, so. So they're all singing, all dancing. All dancing. Everything's on the market. Yes, the yes. Um, I'm not sure if I had any others. Yeah. There was the necklaces, the toys, and it was the picky pegs that I was The picky about. pegs. Yes. Yes, yeah. And also a lot of people, um, again, when baby teeth start to come through, you've got a bit more... Um, You've got a bit more exploring to do with foods and weaning mm. because teeth are coming through, so then yes. babies can then start to chew a bit more. Yes. So some people um, can can give food, yes. like hold food. Um, again, this is completely entirely up yes. to how your baby has started Response. weaning. If yeah. you're doing purees or if mm. you're doing sort of baby led weaning. Yes. Um, so lots of people can can give um, bits of cold cucumber yes of course or apple mm. um, and that helps really nice because it's juicy exactly, as well yeah and so cool it, it might be a bit messy yeah a bit of a messy yeah. but but we don't Babies care messy, yes so. <laughs> we can always just clean them up exactly, yeah. <laughs> for a brief moment <laughs> exactly and then messy. all of a sudden no okay. did, did did we just clean the baby yeah. no <laughs> No, no. It's always covered in yes. everything. So yeah. I've, I've learned to just deal with that. Now. Yeah, yeah, you can't. No. You, that's it. It was just fine always when have... he was a baby, but yes. now he's older. There's, there's he's no just there. into everything. Yeah. So, um, but still on the subject of yeah. teething toys, of course, we have our very own yeah. Gertie, our um, 100% natural rubber teething toy with vegetable based paints so um she's flown over from canada um and we're actually um looking at doing a gertie giveaway but before we um move on to that just a quick recap just to say if you're worried at all mm -hmm. at any stage during the baby's um teething phase yes. um Lucy and I would always say, talk to an experienced mum or friend yeah. or um, chat to your GP or health yeah. visitor. Don't feel like you're going around there wasting their time. They're no. there. They're there, aren't they? They are. To help. And it might be that it isn't teething related, but it might be something else. So it's, it's worth it. Yes, worth checking it, it out because you yeah. know your baby better than anybody else. Yeah. Um, and you're just going to know yeah. that it, it, I don't actually think it is teething. That no. it, it is something else that's that's underlying yeah. get round to the um get round to a medical professional just to, to check it out to put your mind at rest but back to the Gertie giveaway um um to celebrate the launch of the baby dribble podcast we're actually going to give away two of our Gertie the good goose teething toys um so, which are obviously ideal for a teething baby so to enter this giveaway please email the word teething to prizes at sweetdreamers.co.uk by midnight on Friday the 8th of June. So entrance must be 18 or over and live in the UK or Ireland. Full terms and conditions can be found on the Sweet Dreamers website. And we will announce the winner on our next podcast um, in the following month. So good luck, everyone, and thanks for listening. So it's bye from myself, Linda, and Lucy. And all of our Baby Triple content will be available for you to access through our podcasts on YouTube and our blog, um, sweetdreamers.co.uk forward slash blog. So Thank bye for now. Much. Thanks for listening. Bye. bye.